Under crooked Joe Biden, every state is now a border state. Every town is now a border town because Joe Biden has brought the carnage and chaos and killing from all over the world and dumped it straight into our backyards. Eleven days ago, right here in Kent County, a 25-year-old Michigan woman named Ruby Garcia, who has become a very well-known name, beautiful young woman, was savagely murdered by an illegal alien criminal. Under the Trump administration, this monster had been deported, thrown out of the country, wasn't going to be able to come back because you just have to look at the charts. It was very, very hard to get in. But he came back and uh, we threw him out of the country and crooked Joe Biden took him back and let him back in and let him stay in. And he, he viciously killed Ruby, the illegal alien charged with Ruby's really heinous killing and he, this is somebody that had many, many arrests, including for uh, some very bad crimes that he committed. And he was set loose to roam our streets, and in this case, uh, set loose to roam in Michigan by politicians that are left and weak and stupid. On March 22nd, he shot 17-year-old Ruby. Actually, she was uh, a beautiful, beautiful young woman. Uh, Ruby Garcia was uh, shot multiple times with an illegally obtained handgun. Her body was dumped on the side of a highway, left to die, actually. Had a little life left, left to die. And uh, Ruby passed away. And it's been a big story because it's so horrible. Some of these horrible stories, there's so many of them. You could go on for days, but some of them just... Uh, they resonate so much more for whatever reason. They're all so horrible. And there's so many of them. Now Ruby's loved ones and community are left grieving for this incredible young woman, remembering what they called her. They said she had just this most contagious laughter. And when she walked into a room, she lit up that room. And I've heard that from so many people. I spoke to some of her family. Two months ago, another illegal alien Criminal was sentenced in Kent County by executing a 22-year-old Grand Rapids woman while she was in a car with her one-year-old baby, shooting her at least five times all over with a rifle at point-blank range while the killer was wanted for outstanding attempted versions of various forms of strangulation that were looking for this particular killer all over the country. Uh, he was allowed to come into our country by a very weak border policy. And just a few weeks ago, I met with the grieving family of Lakin Riley. You know Lakin. She's uh, she was incredible. Top of her class. Everything was the top. She was the top of everything. She was incredible. I met the parents. Incredible people. The 22 year old nursing student in Georgia who was barbarically murdered by an illegal alien animal. Uh, the Democrats say, please don't call them animals. They're humans. I said, no, they're not humans. They're not humans. They're animals. And Nancy Pelosi told me that. She said, please don't use the word animal, sir, when you're talking about these people. I said, I'll use the word animal because that's what they are. I'll never forget my vow to her wonderful mother, father, and sister two weeks ago. And uh, I said, I will deliver justice for Lakin. I said that. And now today I'm adding something. It's going to be for Lakin. And it's also justice for Ruby. We're going to deliver justice for Ruby. We're going to watch what happens with this thug. We're going to watch what happens. And we have all the law enforcement behind. They're going to be watching what happens to this thug. He's not going to get away with it. So many people get away with it. They say, oh, let him go. Let him go. I'm the only one that has to put up a bond. You know, I put up a bond. I didn't do anything wrong. I had to put up a bond this morning for $175 million. I did nothing wrong. They can shoot somebody, kill somebody, and walk out of jail an hour later. How about that? Do you think that's a fair policy? That's, that's called radical left. But not one more innocent life should be lost to Biden migrant crime.